Hello and welcome to this lesson on the song Band on the Run. And what I'm going to show you today is how to do the, the strumming, the kind of backing acoustic guitar for this song. Great song recorded by Paul McCartney and Wings back in 1973 in Lagos and they went out to Africa for some reason to record this album. And what a great album it is, it's got lots of really good tracks like Jet and Bluebird's a real favourite of mine as well. And this song which is really three songs in one isn't it? So we're going to start with this lovely slow movement. Um, elsewhere on YouTube you can find me teaching you how to play uh, the lead guitar for Band on the Run, the slide guitar and the bass guitar as well. And I think I've done some tuition on, on the keyboard parts as well. That's all free. Uh, this is a paid for one. I hope you don't mind paying for this one. But uh, um, hopefully we're going to enjoy learning this one together. So let's get started. The intro, this bit that starts with that bit of lead guitar, you come in with this chord, which is D major 7th. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, um, do excuse me, I'm going to assume that you're a beginner with this lesson, so I'm going to show you all the chord shapes. If you know all these chords, you can skip this bit, but uh, this is how we do D major 7th. What is D major 7th? Well, it's, it's a D major chord. But instead of having this D here, we have a C sharp. Now, you could use three separate fingers, but most people, I think, bar three strings on the second fret. You play these four strings, D, G, B and E. So the D string is open and these uh, G, B and E strings are fretted. So the notes are D, A, C sharp and F sharp. And there's two bars of that, you can see at the, at the top of the page, page one there. So you've got this, uh, this is the strum that I do. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to strum this. We're gonna do down, up, down, down, up, down, down. So it's one, two, three, four. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Now I often say this with strumming, the right hand should move constantly. So it's like you're going like that, but obviously you don't want all that, it's too much, so you just miss out certain strums. Very relaxed, very natural. Where do you strum the strings? Well, I mean, wherever your guitar sounds best. Some people like to strum really near the bridge, get that kind of thin, almost tinny sound. Some people like to strum nearer or on the neck, get a bassier sound. I mean, it's just where my hand falls naturally is, is at the back of the sound hole. And on this Gibson guitar, it sounds pretty nice. So you've got down, up, down, down. find a little down up there and kind of lead you into the next bar. So there's two bars of that. So you hold that chord down and do that down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up twice. And the next chord is G6. G chord with an added E is how you do G6. And it's pretty simple. If you know G, um, you can finger the G chord in lots of ways, can't you? I mean, I tend to use fingers one, two, and three normally. Finger one behind the second fret of the A, finger two behind the third fret of the bass E string, finger three behind the third fret of the treble E string, and just lift that finger off the treble E string. So the open E gives us our required E note for our G6. Uh, but I tend to, on this song, not use fingers one and two on these two bass strings, but fingers two and three. So you're going from this chord D major 7th to this chord G 6th and the same rhythm on that, two bars. Back to D major 7th. By the way, when you start a, a new chord, you can always do a little ripply kind of arpeggiated chord. So instead of just going straight through the plectrum, you could let your plectrum ripple through the allowed strings. In this case, the allowed strings, the D, G, B, and E. So you do down, up, down, down, up, down, down. It's, it's quite a nice little gap, isn't it, off that initial strum. So two of those, two G sixths. So imagine that do 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 do. Then 
vocal. So that third line there, it starts with the D major 7th, there's only one bar of it this time. Then it says G M, which of course is G minor. A uh, couple of ways of doing that, I tend to bar this right across the 3rd fret. A lot of people struggle with bar chords, here's a bit of a tip. If you'd sort of tip your finger over slightly so that the harder, bonier side of the finger is pressing rather than the what I call the fleshy underbelly of the finger. You sort of tip it over slightly, um, miss a fret, and then you do an E minor shape on fret five. So uh, first finger barring behind the third fret, third finger behind the fifth fret, the A, fourth finger behind the fifth fret, the D, that's the fifth and fourth strings respectively. So the fourth fret has nothing behind it. Okay, I hope you can see that like that. Okay.